Hey everyone, welcome in to another XDP Manufacturer Q&A. Today I'm here with Ryan from ATS and we're gonna be learning more about the Aurora VFR turbochargers from ATS. So Ryan, tell us some more about it. Why should I choose one for my truck? Well, the VFR series of turbos was designed to be a, a drop-in direct replacement for the stock charger. And as you know, the stock charger has a lot of issues with it. Typically, the main cause of failure is going to be vein sticking. The vein sticking tends to take the actuator out, and then you end up with a turbo that's completely stuck, and you have to replace it with either another stock unit, or you can go with an ATS upgraded unit. First things first, we put a two-year unlimited mile warranty on the turbo. It is the best warranty in the entire market as far as the stock replacement goes. We typically have two different sizes. You can go with the, our 3000 line, which is going to be your stock size charger, uh, or you can go with our 4000 line, which is going to be like 63, 64 millimeter, depending on the platform you put it on. We have them for Ford, GM, and Dodge. Everything start to finish is completely upgraded. It's not gonna break the bank. It's gonna be similarly priced to putting another stock charger on there. So why not put something much more upgraded in, in, in your truck? So what makes the turbo different from a stock unit to get more power? So to get more power and reliability out of these turbochargers, we first start with the exhaust side. So while other manufacturers are going to machine out the factory housings, throw larger wheels in there, we completely redesign the turbocharger. We start with the exhaust side, we cast it all out of HSM. HSM is a little bit more expensive in the casting process, but it handles heat so much better. And that's really what we wanna do in a turbocharger is handle those EGTs that keeps your vein pack alive, that keeps the unison ring from warping. And that's gonna be kind of your reliability side. But since we recast everything, we can put whatever size wheel we'd like to put in here and have better spool up characteristics, more power, most guys, what they'll do is they'll take that exhaust side wheel and they'll clip the end of it, your exducer, um, because they need to kind of stuff it into a smaller area. We can make our own area, we can use our own turbocharger wheel, we can use our exhaust wheel, um, and we're gonna get a lot more power out of the turbo, a lot more reliability, but you're gonna still have those same great spool up characteristics of a stock charger. So what kind of upgraded driving characteristics will someone experience after installing this turbo? So one of the stigmas around a drop-in turbo is that they tend to be slow on the bottom end. Um, a lot of the redesigned turbos, they clip the exhaust wheel or something like that. Since we started with the exhaust section and we cast our own housing, we can put whatever wheel we want in there. ATS Diesel is located in Denver, Colorado, it's a mile high city, so we have no air, right? So what we needed to do is design this turbo with similar spool up characteristics as your factory turbo. But since we've put larger wheels in it, all those uh, better bearing section, we're gonna have that higher mid-range power, that upper end power, but we're also gonna handle EGTs a lot better. How difficult is the installation on something like this? Is this something that somebody can do in their driveway? Is it good for a DIY or start now? So I would definitely put this installation difficulty level at like a medium. So if you could remove the turbo, the factory turbo, if you had the you know technical chops to do that, these are direct fit factory replacements. So you're not changing the down pipe, you're not changing any up pipes. It fits directly where the uh, factory turbocharger was initially. So if you can take the old one off, you can put this one on. We send all the actuators pre-calibrated so you don't need a scan tool or anything like that to do the installation. What else do we need in the truck to run this turbo? Is there any tuning required? The nice thing about the VFR line is we've designed a, a couple different stages for you. The 3000 line is gonna be your stock size inducer. So you're gonna be able to put that on a stock truck, no tunes, it's just more reliable, better EGT handling, a little bit more power. You'll probably pick up about 30, 40 horse just because of the sizing we've done with no tuning at all. However, the 4000 series for the guys that do have some tuning done to their truck can handle up to almost about 650 horsepower. Well, that's going to do it for today. A huge thanks to Ryan from ATS for coming in and giving us all the info we need on the ATS VFR turbochargers. Get one for your truck at XDP.com, and we'll see you next time.